So 2018 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, question number 21. The table below uh, shows some values of curves y is equals to 2 cos x and y is equals to 3 sin x. Complete the table for the values of y is equals to 2 cos x and y is equals to 3 sin x. Correct one decimal place. Now here you use your calculator. And you just substitute the value of x. We are given the, the row of x here. This is y is equals to uh, 2 x, 2 cos x, and y is equals to uh, 3 sin x. So these are two functions. So what you do to fill that table is uh, this just uh, like free marks. Eh? y is equals to 30. So you sign of 30, and you multiply by 2, and that should give you uh, 1.7. Use your calculator. Then we come to uh, 120. 2 multiplied by the cosine of 120, you get minus 1. Uh, then we go to 180. Uh, 2 times cos 180, you get minus 2. Uh, then we have 270. Uh, 2 multiplied by cos one, 270, that should give you 0. Very easy using your calculator. Then we go to the function y is equals to 3 sin x. Uh, when uh, x is 60, so 3 sin 60, uh, you get that is uh, 2.6. Remember, it is to one decimal place. Uh, so we go to 120. 3 sin 120, uh, 3 sin 150, not 120 you get uh, 1.5 then we go to 210 uh, so 3 sin 210 you get it is minus 1.5 uh, then we go to 270 so 3 sin 270 you get it is minus 3 uh, finally we go to 300 so 3 sin 300 you get minus 2.6 so there, after filling those uh, values, you get you earn yourself two marks, which is very easy. We go to part B of the question. Uh, on the grid provided uh, on the graph on your paper, there is a grid. Uh, you can use any other grid uh, for revision, but if you have the uh, the past paper itself, you can use that grid on your paper. So on the grid, draw the graphs of y is equals to. 2 cos x and y is equals to 3 sin x for the range 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 360 uh, on the same axis. So if you are able to draw that, you get yourself 5 marks, which is also not very difficult. So we are going to plot this graph of these two functions, y is equals to cos 2 cos x and y is equals to sin x and see what uh, they look like. So this is the grid that I'm going to use. I've already placed a table of uh, my containing the values of my function. So the first thing we do is to label our axis. So let's say that's our starting point zero. Uh, the first the highest value two, the second function the value is three. So we will our uh, y axis two, that is the highest. Uh, the value of y in this case minus three. In this case, minus 2, so we go up to minus 2, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Uh, along the x-axis, then we say this is 30, uh, 60, uh, 90, we have 120, we have 150, we have 180, we have one, uh, 210, we have 240, we have uh, 270, then 300, then we have uh, 330, and finally we have 360. So that is our x-axis. So it is very important to label your axis. From there, now start function y is equals to 2 cos x. So the function y is equals to 2 cos x when x is degrees, y is 2. So that's where we have our point. 
equals 30 y 0.7 so we have 1.7 there when x t y so we have 1 there when x is 0 90 uh, y is 0 uh, 120 we go to minus 1 150 minus 1.7 so we have minus 1.7 180 we have minus 2 uh, 210 we have 1.7 we have uh, 240 is minus 1. We have uh, uh, 270, we have our y is 0. Uh, we have 300, we have 1. Uh, 330, we have uh, 11. We have 360, go to 2. So these are the values of our function y is equals to x. Uh, y is equals to x. So from there, we brought the graph of y is equals 2 cos x. So this is a graph of y equals to 2 cos x. Always remember to label your graph. So we have y is equals 2 cos x. And when you are plotting a graph, uh, a curve, always use your free hand. Do not use a ruler and ensure that your graph is as smooth as possible. So having done that, we now go ahead and plot the graph of y is equal to uh, 3x. So for us to do that, let's first of all start by identifying the points. So y, when x is 0, y is 0. So that's where we have our, our first. Uh, when it is 30, y is 1.5. So y is 1.5, so somewhere there. Uh, 60, it is 6, 2.6, so it's there. And it is 3, y is 3. When x is 120, y is 2.6, so that's uh, 2.6. Uh, 120, uh, 150, it is 1.5. So 1.5 there. When it is uh, 180, x is y is 0. So that's our point. When it is 210, y is 1.5. So 1.5 there. 240, it is 2. Six, so 2.6 should be there. When uh, three, uh, 270, it is minus 3, so we have a point there. Uh, 300, it is 2.6. Uh, 2.6. Uh, we have 330, it's 1.5. 1.5. Uh, 360, it is 0. So these are the points that we are going to use. We connect these two point, uh, these points and we will come up with a graph of y is equals to 3 sin x. Use your free hand to connect the point and come up with a graph. So this is the graph of y is equals to 3 sin x. We label our graph y is equals to 3 sin x. So that is what we are supposed to do, that is to plot the graphs. We now move to see of the question and answer the questions. Uh, so this is a part C of the I told to use a graph to find the vex when 2 sin cos x minus 3 is equals to 0. If we take uh, 3 minus 3 sin x to right hand side, we will have uh, 2 cos is equal to uh, 3 sin x. So uh, for us to get uh, the solution to this, then it means we need the values where the two graphs are equal or they cross each other. One of the points is that point, and you find that that point is around uh, 32, uh, 32, uh, 32 degrees plus or minus, I can say 0 0.5, or the other point where the two graphs cut is that point, uh, it leads to the value 200 and uh, 
we can say 200 and uh, this is uh, 200 and 13 plus or minus uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 so those are the values where the two graphs are equal and these are the points where the two graphs cut each other these two points you read the values of x and that is how you answer that So the last part of the question is part D. This part D, uh, we are told, use a graph to find the values of y when 2 cos x is equal to 3 sin x. In the previous uh, part C, we read the values of y when uh, 2 cos x is equal to 3 sin x. So we now read the values of y. So we start uh, this one. Uh, when you check here, it is to be it to so so we can see when 2 cos x is equal to 3 sin x, then 1 equals 2. Uh, read this value, it, uh, it is around uh, 1.65. Uh, you can say plus or 0 0.05. Uh, or the other part, one, we read uh, this value here, it is uh, uh, 1.5. 1.5 a plus or minus 0.5 the values when the two of y when the terms are equal and that brings us to the end of that question uh, very easy uh, in a question you can get everything because once you plot the right graph uh, what remains for you is uh, is to read the values that are required so very minimal calculations uh, so this is a question which I can encourage that whenever you come across a graph question and you understand to plot that graph, then it is good to add that question and accurate as possible. The important thing here is uh, uh, make sure you have the correct of your table. table. Uh, secondly, ensure that you plot your graph using your free hand and let it uh, be smooth passing through all the points. From there, uh, ensure that uh, you are able to interpret your graph. For example, here we are told uh, to find uh, part C. Uh, you should always uh, this to the other side. Then you interpret that these are the points when the two graph each other. Uh, the same case uh, to part D. Uh, and you will be able to get a full mark.